Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech. In today's video, I want to take a look at the top 10 changes that took place in iOS 10 from iOS 9. Now, I'm not going to worry about little changes. By a little change, I mean, for instance, that in iOS 9, Siri settings are under the general menu, while in iOS 10, it has for now moved to the main settings menu, as you can see. Those are some minor reconfigurations. What I do want to talk about is the new layouts for notifications center, control center, widgets, iMessage enhancements, and some other major changes. So let's dive in. All right, so let's talk about these phones really quickly. So this is an iPhone 6S. That's an iPhone 6S Plus. The 6S Plus is running iOS 9, and the 6S is running iOS 10. They look quite similar as of now, but there are some changes. The first change is the obvious change that you're looking at. You do get a new wallpaper that you see on the iPhone 6S that is not available on iOS 9. Not a major change, but thought I'd mention that really quick. So let's move on to the notifications center. So when I pulled on the notifications center on the iPhone 6S Plus on iOS 9, what I get is I get a today screen and a notifications uh, view. So in the notifications panel, obviously you get notifications, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, whatever. And on the today screen, you get the time, the date, and you can place widgets over here. So this is the stocks widget. That's the batteries widget. That's the uh, dictionary widget. It says unable to load for now. But again, you can go down here, uh, you can click edit, and you can edit the widgets. Uh, you can actually take the ones that you don't want, put them down here. And if you want something, you can tap plus, and it goes to the top, and of course, you can move them around just like this. Click done, and that's the uh, notifications panel on iOS 9. Now, let's take a look at the notifications panel on iOS 10. If I pull down over here, wow, I have absolutely nothing but notifications. And as you can see, the notifications have changed. In my opinion, it actually looks prettier. Now, I do have the option to interact with these notifications. I can press X and that deletes a group. So, for example, here's Google Plus notifications. If I press X and I clear it, the Google Plus notifications, in fact, disappear. I can also interact with notifications individually in iOS 9. Swipe over and I can click X. There are some instances that allows me to tweet uh, retweet or like a Twitter message, but that's just about it. Now on this side, however, they have implemented the use of 3D touch. So if I 3D touch on this text message, it's going to bring a small window and in that window, I can respond to the text message. Click Hey, and then I'll get a text message on the other phone. Close that. Now, as you can see, here's a text message. If I swipe over, I can click reply or X but I cannot do a 3D touch on this end, alrighty? If I do click reply, it will take me to this screen, and if I say hi, it's gonna send the message, but the window is going to disappear. On this side, I can continue talking as much as I want. I can continue the conversation on the um, little iMessage pop-up. So that is a one of the enhancements for the notifications panel. So let's see what else has changed. The shape of the notification has changed. You can interact with the notifications by doing a 3D touch. Um, what about this today screen right over here? You actually still have access to this today screen, but what you have to do is you have to swipe to the right, and that's gonna bring the widgets view, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's compare this side by side. Now, as you can see, the new widgets pane looks much better. And again, if you scroll down all the way, you can click edit, just like you can do it right over here. Click edit, and you can move widgets back and forth as you please. If you want to get rid of it, press this button, remove, and it goes away. If you want to put it back, you scroll down, you press plus, and it goes right back up. But as you can see, they look quite different and they, they now reside in different places. On top of that, these widgets are very static. Of course, they give you updated information, but you cannot really play with these widgets. So if I tap on the weather channel here, um, 
It may take me into the app and give me some more information, but that's basically all I get. Alrighty. Uh, over here, however, I can click on show more and that widget will give me some more information. Let's do show less. Nothing really happened over there, but you get the idea. You do have the options to tap on these things and get some extra bit of information. So here's the news widget. If I tap show more, I get more uh, options right over here. Okay, and then show less and they disappear. So those are the new widgets that are hiding on the side of the screen. And of course you have the same kind of access in the lock screen. Now before I dive into lock screen, let me show you one more thing. If you pull down from the bottom, you get the control center. Okay, you've got your uh, quick toggles for the flashlight, calculator, the camera. You've got your Bluetooth Wi-Fi toggles and you've got your music and your brightness controller right over here as well as airdrop and airplay. Now with this guy over here, as you can see, it has been slightly redesigned. Okay, now one thing is missing. It's the music player that is missing. So you still have your little quick toggles. You've got your quick toggles here. You've got the night shift option, airplay, airdrop. So where's the music player? It's right over here, all by itself on the right side. Okay, so that is absolutely fantastic. Now I believe as important as music is to people on these iPhones, they use it all the time. It's nice to have a dedicated control center within the control center instead of this tiny playback button uh, and controls right over here. So this is really, really nice. If I uh, click play, let's reduce the volume, click play, and there we go. So that's the song that is playing. And again, you can control the volume, pause, next track, and you can see the location. You can see the icon, the, um, the picture of the album, and you can see some more information. On this side, as you can see, you can still see the name of the album, you can see the name of the song, but you do not see the album art at all. And finally, at the bottom here, it says uh, the music is currently playing through the iPhone. If you have any other set of speakers connected to your phone via Bluetooth, your Apple TV, you can tap this button and you can choose a different streaming speaker. So I can go to my Apple TV, which is going to stream through the speakers of my TV that the Apple TV is connected to. Very, very nice. Now, if I go to the lock screen of this phone, let's shut this off, go back in. I can still access uh, notifications today panel and the notifications panel and I can also access the uh, control center no problem and I can access the camera all I have to do is swipe from top to bottom and that launches the camera let's take a look at how it looks on iOS 10 so on iOS 10 the today screen is going to be on this side these are the widgets okay and from here you can even do perform a search and as you can see the clock moves to the right and then if you uh, um, swipe from top to bottom that brings the notifications panel and bottom to top you're going to get access to your control center and you're going to get access to both the music player and the regular toggles control center this is absolutely beautiful i really do like these design changes and of course you can access your camera over here uh, by simply swiping to the left as opposed to pulling from down to bottom very nice and quick so we do have some 3d touch enhancements uh, let's take a look at some of these 3d touch enhancements so if i pull down as you can see i have notifications what i can do is i can do a 3d touch on the x right over here and let's assume i had hundreds of notifications what i can do is i can press and hold on the x and that's going to bring up an option that says clear all notifications and that is exclusively available via 3d touch the other thing is on the control center if i pull this thing out as you can see i have some toggles at the bottom i can press these toggles and they're going to enable or disable the toggle uh, flashlight on flashlight off if i press and hold nothing happens now on the um, ios 10 you have the option to do 3d touch presses so let's do a 3d touch brings up a menu you can choose from low medium or high flashlight okay uh, you can press the timer you can start a timer for one hour 20 minutes five minutes one minute fantastic you can do the same with the camera okay so you get the 
uh, photo option, slow motion option, video option, and selfie option. And of course, on the clock, you can copy the last result that you had calculated. That's the calculator. So that's one enhancement. The other thing is, uh, if you go to an app that you downloaded from the App Store, and if you press and hold it, you may get some extra options, but you will get this option on all apps. It's the share option. Then you can cl click share, and then you can share this uh, application with a friend using one of these communication tools, the messages, mail, notes, whatever. So that's the 3D touch on apps. If I was to uh, go to a random app here and do a 3D touch, nothing happens. With this one, something's gonna happen with every app and that share button is going to show up on iOS 10. And finally, one more thing I wanna talk about with the 3D touch is if you press and hold on a folder, it's gonna bring up a menu that's going to allow you to rename the folders. If you tap it, you can simply change the name of that folder. Now on iOS 9, such a thing is not possible. There's no 3D touch functionality on the uh, folders. All right, so let me show you one more thing. If you go into the settings, if you go into display and brightness, there's going to be a new function here that you've never seen before. It's called raise to wake. As long as that is enabled, what's going to happen is if your phone is shut, all you have to do is raise the phone and it's going to wake up your phone. Okay. And this thing works flawlessly. So you can quickly take a peek at your phone and then you can put it away if you do not wish to interact with what you saw. Now, I was going to go ahead and talk about some major changes to the Messages app on iOS 10, but instead, I will drop a link in the description below to another video I produced, which details every single improvement and change for Messages in iOS 10. So make sure you go watch that video after this video to learn about some bombastic iMessage changes. All right, so the next change has to do with the music app. So obviously music app is an app we use all the time. A lot of people do at least. Maybe not me, but a lot of other people. So let's launch it and see what it looks like. So music here, music here, iOS 10, iOS 9. As you can see, it looks slightly different. Over here, you've got the recently added, you've got the artists. You can scroll down and you can see the artists over here. It shows up as a library. You got the playlists, artists, albums view right over here. Down here, you have the recently added. And if I were to tap on the music that is currently playing, you will see that they also look slightly different. The, the, the visuals are slightly different. So these are some of the differences in the music application. Apparently, it looks fresher and cleaner in this version. Another thing with the music application is if you do a 3D touch on one of these artists right over here, it brings up a preview card and if you do a deeper press, it brings up that uh, album or that artist. With this one, if you do a 3D touch, it actually brings up a menu that you can interact with. You can download, delete, uh, create a playlist, blah, blah, blah. And you have all these options. So that's another enhancements in the music app using 3D touch functionality. All right, so let's go into the news application right over here. That's another enhancement that they're saying that they did. Basically, the new news application is more pronounced. As you can see on the top, you have top stories in iOS 9. On iOS 10, it's much more bolded and to the point. And everything is gonna be broken down by these categories. As you can see, technology, um, Microsoft, if you go down, you know, weekend reading. So you get these nice stacks of categories. Donald Trump, who cares about Donald Trump? Show me the next iPhone 7, that's more important. Let's keep going over here. And, uh, and that's it for the news application. Not a, not a major change, but the categories are much more pronounced. I do like that you have the weather on the top over here, but if you look at the bottom over here, the, me the bottom menu is almost the same. All right, so there's some other major changes that are coming, but I cannot show them to you, but I'm gonna mention them to you. And the reason I cannot show them to you are because they're not yet implemented. So the one thing I wanna talk about is Siri. In the future, in iOS 10, Siri is going to be available within apps. So right now, what you do is you launch Siri. Hey Siri, how you doing? I'm pretty good, Saki. And you can talk to her, you can ask, 
questions, you can do mathematics, you can do conversions, whatever, right? In the future, when you launch an application, let's say you launch the YouTube application, the person that makes the YouTube application is going to be able to integrate Siri into the application, which is absolutely fantastic. So different apps are gonna have Siri inside them and Siri is gonna be able to do things for you within that app. For example, with the YouTube application, you can just ask, you can launch Siri within the application and say, find me videos, funny videos, and it's gonna find funny videos for you. And there is going to be some more changes in the Maps application, and you're also gonna get Apple Pay on the web. So those are some of the major changes that are coming, but they're not perfected yet. So I'm not gonna show them to you or cannot show them to you, but I just wanted to mention them. Well, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Saki Tech Online, for which links are in the description below. Have a fantastic day.